Here we have Windows Vista 64 bit. Um, inside there is an Intel Q9450 processor, quad core, and motherboard is the P5QE. I'm going to show any noob such as myself how to overclock it from stock, which is 2.66 to see it there running at 3.88 gigahertz which is uh, pretty much a 50% increase that's what CPU Z showing um, 1.37 can see it jumping about slightly depending on what it's got to do I don't know and there's the core speed, 13880. That's the bus. Um, um, there's the temperature monitor. Oh, get the thing. B core again, same. Temperature's currently 23 degrees, idling, motherboard's 33. Ramp there, uh, the fans are. I think that's a full speed more or less, I've not en enabled the speed control. Right, let's show you how it's done. ID. Uh, leave virtualization on. Um, whatever that is, leave it on. And uh, execute disable bit, disable that. Power. Um, this just has a little hardware monitor in. Um, it's pretty warm in the room right now. It's quite warm some of the day. Um, you can see CPU temp. Here you can uh, change your fan, uh, make it uh, quite an increase. I have it set to full just because I do. Set the second one to eight. The FSB frequency to 485. You can leave the graphics card for now at 100. You can play with that later. Um, strap to auto. Um, and your RAM. If you've got DDR3 RAM, you can give it a higher setting. I don't. Mine's only 1066. Uh, that one there is too high for me. Okay. Um, set that to manual, but you don't actually have to change anything. The settings already come up for you. And the only settings, really, that you need to change is the CPU voltage, which on the Q9450 is 1.39375. I've read around on forums and people advise not to go beyond 1.4. Um, and then the DRAM voltage, that's just for my particular RAM. When you've done all that, you want to go to exit, save, exit and save, OK. I'm not going to because I've not made any changes. Uh, and that's it.